Hi everyone, this is Kathy LeBlanc. I am here to talk to you about project-based learning. So I'm going to share my screen with you and uh, share a PowerPoint that we'll make available to you for after this, this session. And I adapted this particular PowerPoint from a PowerPoint that Brandon Haas and Elizabeth Johnston had made for last year to introduce members of the cluster pedagogy learning community to project-based learning. So the first question is what do we mean by project-based learning? This is one of the three educational um, strands that underlie the cluster learning model that, that we're, we're going to be talking about in the cluster pedagogy learning com community. So project-based learning is, is about teaching and learning where students gain knowledge and skills by working on real projects, projects that actually address real problems and that touch the world outside of the classroom in some way. One of the things that I, we've discovered is that a lot of people will say things like I already do project-based learning in my I already use that in my classes and what we come to discover through conversation is that many of those situations are actually project oriented rather than project-based learning so what's the difference the difference is where the project comes in the course what role does the project play in the course? So do you do a lot of learning for, uh, about of content and then ask the students to apply that learning to a project after they've done the main part of the learning? Or do you have the project um, be the main activities that students are engaging in in order to learn the, the content of the class? The way the Buck Institute talks about this is, is the project the dessert or is it the main course? If it's the main course, the thing that you're using to help students learn the content, then you're doing project-based learning. We use project-based learning as opposed to project-oriented learning in the cluster learning model because we want to make sure that our students are, are given the opportunity to practice in situations that kind of mimic what the real world will look like when they when they leave us or even while they're with us. So in in most employment situations, if you're given a task, you're not actually able to engage in significant professional development to learn how to accomplish the task before you actually start trying to accomplish the task. In other words, you learn in most situations, how to accomplish the task as you're engaged in the task. So that's why we, we like to engage our students in project-based learning. The Buck Institute um, has identified a gold standard for project-based learning, and there are seven key essential uh, aspects to a class that has project-based learning in it for it to be considered gold standard project-based learning. So you have to start with a challenging problem or question that's meaningful um, and provides the students with uh, an appropriate level of, of challenge. The students then need to engage in some sort of sustained inquiry in which they are posing questions about the larger problem or question finding resources to answer those, those questions, finding those resources on their own with the instructor's guidance, and then they can apply that information to the potential solution that, that they come up with. The, the project should be authentic in the sense that it involves a real world context, it uses real tools, um, it has some sort of impact, it, addresses the student's lives or interests or personal concerns. <clears throat> students and teachers need to um, engage in significant reflection on their learning. So we want the students to, to think about the activities that they're engaging in and for themselves be able to 
evaluate their um, inquiry and project activities. They're able to think about their own learning process and the work that's coming out of it. Students need to have voice and choice. They need to be making some decisions about the project, including how they want to engage in the work and what they're going to ultimately create. So, uh, you know, a lot of times faculty members will create projects in their courses where the faculty member has planned everything out. Faculty member has made all the decisions about, you know, what the report is going to look like at the end of the project or what the artifact will be. They've planned um, when all the due dates, the milestones for the project are. They've planned who the students are going to speak to and all of that stuff. The, the gold standard of project-based learning takes that responsibility away from the instructor and turns it so that it really is a truly student-centered approach to engaging in the project. The students also need to be able to give, receive, and apply feedback about their performance on the project so that they can improve their processes and the products that come out of the, the project-based learning experience. And finally, there should be some sort of a public product. So the student's work should be made public uh, in some way. So the students may um, engage in the showcase of student engagement, for example, where they have to explain what they've done in the classroom to people who are not part of that classroom. So those seven elements are part of the gold standard of project-based learning. Last summer, a group of six of us went to Worcester Polytechnic Institute's um, Project-Based Learning Institute. It's a week-long intensive uh, discussion about project-based learning. We, as a result of attending that, we were able to take all of the materials from all of the sessions that occurred during that week and make them available to our campus community. So if you go to the Moodle course under resources, you will see this list of, of uh, resources for, for project-based learning. And there's, you know, there are themes within this, but I think you can tell from the titles of these, these links, what the, what the link is likely to be about. You're able to, when you get this PowerPoint, you're able to click on these links here and look at the materials as long as you're logged into, into Moodle. I'm particularly interested in the one uh, PBL in first year and as a gen ed strategy. I found that very, very helpful as the general education coordinator. But there's lots of really, really useful material here. Um, Brandon and Elizabeth had put together this list of further reading and there's a wealth of information at these various sites. So I would strongly encourage you to go and take a look at some of some of the items in these in these sites. And again, this this list of um, links is available in this PowerPoint. You'll be able to click directly. So that's that's kind of our quick quick explanation of what project-based learning is all about. And I look forward to talking to you more about project-based learning and how we are implementing project-based learning in our uh, cluster learning experiences for our students. Thanks.